Okay. So we are start to the broadcast now. Yeah. Hey, live. All right. So should we just go through all of the questions? I think so, just to like keep it in order and not like miss um, anything. You know? Yeah. Also share two codes. Yeah, from the text. Oh yeah, we could do that. We could both share our two. Oh. Our two what? Codes. Who's gonna submit it? Uh, also need to do the response one. Huh? Like people need to. Oh, I think uh, one of us need to write a response, like the response paper. Mm. I'm. Really sick. So I another time. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even in town right now. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> not in LIA right now. So I'm kind of just, I'm stepped aside in my friend's friend's house. So can I do it another time, or if you really need to, I'll I'll do it. But you know, it's just not as convenient to do it today. Uh, you know, can do that because I have to go to the concert. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> also need yeah, to I was going to say that maybe we could each type up like like a little bit, you know? That um, works too, yeah. And then like I could put it together because it's like super late here already, but I don't mind putting it together. Where are you? Right now I'm in Utah. Okay. So when does it have to be due by? I think midnight. Tonight? Yeah. Oh, true, true. Well, I can do it because um, I think it would be easier to just have one person write it. Okay, because I was thinking like if we all have like a um, like a little blurb, it would just like make it easier for all of us. I don't think it needs to be very long, right? There's one two pages, double space. So, mm -hmm. either way, it doesn't matter. If you guys need me to do it, I can do it. I'll do it. It's okay. Thank you. Okay. If you want, like, we can, like, do have these. It's okay. I really... Because I don't mind helping out with it. Are you sure? We can send in, like, little, like, notes if you need to. So you can just, you know, have, like, a basic outline. It's okay. Yeah. I'm just thinking. Yeah. Like, I can start, like, while we're talking, I can just type up things on my phone and then forward some of that stuff to you that we, like, talk about that's important. Yeah, it's it's okay if not. Either way, it's all good. Okay. Um, but should we start out by sharing our quote and like our theme? What, what like the or we could wait till the end. Share our two two quotes. Wait, we need two quotes. Yeah. Where does it say that? It's like the last paragraph. It's like remember that each person. There are at least two relevant quotes from the text, as well as a message about a theme. Um, so I think that if you don't know an exact quote, you could just tell part of the story. That's yeah, okay. I have one of them. Oh, 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 I see. Do you want me to share one right now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> when are we just going to go through it, or are we going to like do the quote thing first? We can do the quote thing first. Okay. So I feel like one of the most important quotes that I was able to kind of like pick up through in the book, it was when, what's his name, Jin? Jim? Yeah, Jin was talking to the, to the older lady at the place that his mom went. She goes, like he was saying like, his mom said it's impossible to be, like, a, a transformer. And the older lady tells him, it's easy to become anything you wish so long as you're willing to forfeit your soul. And I felt like that kind of tied up everything, especially, like, knowing, like, what happened at the end. That basically, um, what's his name? We, that we was, like, he basically was giving up his soul just to like do whatever because he was like tired of humans and that kind of like tied up everything also with like like Jin giving up who he really was because he wanted to be someone else. I yeah. love 
I definitely huh? think that like the whole like theme of this is kind of like, you know, love who you are, like love yourself and, you know, cause you, you always think like, you know, it's better on the other side, you know, like that you want all these different things, but then when you actually get it, you're like, wow, actually I didn't want that, you know, like mm -hmm. my life was so much better how it was normally. And I think that we, we do that all the time. You know, we're like, oh, like if only I had this, if only my life was like this. But then like, you don't realize, you know, later on that what you had was what you actually wanted. So. I actually, I actually wrote that exact same quote. So that's really cool. And I didn't even think about like the, the cousin who turned his back against the world. Or no, not the cousin, the friend that turned himself with his like, um, And so that adds with it. And I thought of Jin and how he changed his identity. And also Monkey King, how he didn't want to be. And I wrote down um, the quote, the guy that when he was stuck under the map and that guy like wanted him to be his follower, the monk. Mm. And, I, it, and the guy said, the form you have taken is not really your own. Return to your true form. I'll be free. Oh, we lost her. Yeah. And then I also, oh. and then I also, the monkey at the very end, the monkey king came to Jin and he said, you know, Jin, I would have saved myself from 500 years imprisonment beneath a mountain of rock had I only realized how good it is to be a monkey. <laughs> mm -hmm. but all of those quotes really go together that we, we have to be yourself. And sometimes you can live your whole life trying to be someone else. Like the herbalist lady that you, you forfeit. And so in the end, nobody is happy until they learn to be themselves again. And at the end, he yeah. goes, the, the friend taking a new lifestyle. And that's like the thing of him maybe coming back to his room as well. I like that. Yeah. Uh, also, like in the, I think there's one like so the Taiwanese vision like just came to the school. So they, uh, so the vision just met with the uh, Jin, and so but, um, uh, vision wants to make friends with Jin, but uh, also he wants to speak Chinese to with Jin, but Jin just uh, re uh reject him to speak Chinese, cause like uh I think he said. You are in America, speak English. So I think this one is very interesting, like, um, because the gene, like, the American-born Chinese, like, ABC, and uh, when he in the elementary school, like, he want to not be the special one. So he want to be the, like, the, he want to be an American, actually. But after that, um, I think it is very interesting, like, um, but even though um, uh, he reject to speak ch uh, Chinese, like he rejecting the culture that he grew with, that, grew up with like, that, like that. So um, I think this one is very interesting quote. Also on the, uh, another quote is about the Monkey King because the Monkey King is very uh, famous story in China. So I read that in the name of the child. So I think the monkey king one, like everyone thinks he's a monkey, so he cannot be a god like that. So I think it has a, some make some connection, like the because the monkey king wants to be a um, god, and also the gene wants to be uh, American. So so uh, so I think it has some connection with So like, but. Like you guys say, be yourself, like the be, like follow your heart, like that. Um, <laughs> buddy. Oh, what What's just happened? Um, so I, I have one quote right now because <laughs> I didn't know we had to have quotes, but um, there's a part. Um, where the monkey king goes and talks to like you know the main god and he says the king says to or to the, the god says to him he's like 
you know, like quite frankly, no one wants to be around you anymore because of like, because you try to fight everyone and like your attitude and whatever. And I think that that like also like has to do with, you know, when people start to change and try to like have this type of lifestyle that they thought would be better. Like you end up losing people along the way that, you know, you might've liked like your friends and stuff like that. So I think that stood out to me as I was reading. I like that. Um, so should we just go through each of the questions? Yeah. First one, why did Yang of the Monkey King into his Um, And I think it's talking about that's like the theme of our class. And it's cool how it juxtaposes Jin wanting to have nothing to do with his Chinese self. But then there's this this really Chinese culture mm. folklore, like character in the real, in in the story, and so I think it kind of it kind of it kind of or time or time. it's you can stories that are made really has maybe impact on people and the way people act and the way people think um, the folklore. They, they grow up with or that they experience in their culture, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think this, like this question, like the Monkey King is a famous story, like the history story like that. So also the Monkey King, like, I think uh, there, there are three stories in the book. So also every story uh, has a Monkey King, like the hearing the Monkey like the, about the Monkey King, like, Jean and which him explains because the monkey king robot so like that also like the, the third story one like also if the monkey king shows up like that so i think the monkey king also has mixed connection of all the three story <laughs> sorry the holly <honey> one <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh uh, no, I say it's okay. Wait, actually, I cannot, I do I cannot hear them what they said clearly actually. I think it's okay. I don't know. <laughs> Ah, it's okay. So I feel like the way, like what I understood from it, like how it was able to, like why I feel that he incorporated the Monkey King into the story was, you know, like as Lynn said, it's super like famous and it's very well known. And having something that's very famous and well known and incorporating it to a story that he's making himself new, it adds more of a value and adds like that folklore value where he can refer back to things kind of how when the Monkey King, before we even knew it was the Monkey King, um, Wee's dad gave him the Transformer Monkey. And he was like, so you can remember where you came, like who you are and where you came from. And like in a sense, it reminded me of like LDS values of like you know it's like remember who you are. Like mom was like remember who you are, and we're always like at all times and all things and all places, kind of like the young women's values, you know. And oops, sorry, I like shut you guys off. There we go. And like giving him that, it kind of ties it in. Like before we even knew, like that the monkey had something to represent with like chapter one. And he was trying to tie everything in so at the end it could just make sense to the readers. And I guess like so that new readers can understand that folklore fairy tale in a more modern sense. I actually think like that is such a good analysis of like this whole thing. Um, Especially like when you said, 
you know, it ties in with our beliefs and how um, we grew up like basically learning these kind of things. And so I think it's also kind of like, I feel like at one point or another, we kind of reject part of ourselves in a way. And you could totally like see that in this, in this text, you know, like how he was like kind of like rejecting where he came from. Like he didn't really want, you know, anything to do with the Chinese culture. But then you go back to, you know, like your values and what, like your core beliefs, you know. Yeah, sure. Okay, the second question is how does this show function in young storytelling? How does he make it? I think um, function like it has a give a reader some like background information because this book is for like American teenagers. I think they did. I think maybe they did not hear they did not hear the monkey king before. So I think the author to use the monkey king to start the uh, to start this book. So just want to give some information about like some Chinese culture like that. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, more towards the end, like when the sentence asks like what societal attitudes, values or ideals are conveyed and challenged in this book. I feel that more towards the end, I felt like it was getting very prejudiced of like how supposedly America sees Chinese and how like they treat them. Kind of going along with even just like the way that, what's his name? Let me see if I can find it. Really? Sorry guys. Kind of how um, like the Monkey King when he was, um, the chinky when he was the cousin chinky like even just like the name chinky is kind of like referring to the way that like asian eyes are and a lot of it was very prejudiced like the way that they pronounce things or they were like oh your food smells or this or that and it's it got really intense and very prejudiced of how perceptions are and how people treat outsiders or what they perceive as to be outsiders just because they come from a different place. And it showed a lot of those societal attitudes of like how people just take things in a negative sense and something that they can learn from, they actually put a negative light on as opposed to learning from it and embracing other cultures. Mm -hmm. But that was very interesting. Um, I think that there's a part where, um, what's his name? The boy, uh, Jen, is that his name? He, um, you know, he's talking about how the typical like white boy is the one that gets like the girlfriends and whatever. And he like barely even has, like doesn't even really have friends because you know, he's different from everyone mm -hmm. that he goes to school with. Um, and so like, I think like that's also something that they bring up. How society works and how it's it's weird when there's some someone new you know that you're not you're not accustomed to and you tend to push it away like shun it you know um yeah so they really like touched on that i think it's really interesting because i feel like a lot of stories that talk about these kind of cultural issues um they talk about like that person being a victim kind of thing um, the person and how the people are unkind to them. And I think that this, this definitely does that, but it focuses more on that person's perspective. And so instead, instead of everyone, like how he, as if, how he was trying to be Chinese, nobody liked him. He was the driving force. And he didn't want him. It was in, as a character, um, so I think that's a theme. Like um, the, and we kind of already talked about that, but the confusion that you can kind of have the fight with yourself um, because of the way that people treat you differently. Mm. Yeah. So the third question is: What 
social to attitudes, values, or ideas are come with and challenging book. I think we just、uh, covered that question. Yeah. Yeah.、Um, how does American-born Chinese challenge conventional literary form and genres? So、oh, I think like the whole. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um. Um. But I was just gonna say, I and I read one other graphic novel for another class when I was in Provo, and I I still I think that I have negative attitude like, oh, it's not real. It's not real literature. It's a comic book.、Mm-hmm. It's challenging. Um. The book. And I love to read, and I I feel like at first I was I couldn't get into it because of like the way the words were and the pictures,、um, but quickly I got into it, and I was amazed by the depth、um, of the story and how there were so many different、uh, separate things going on, and they all connected, and there were lots of themes and then like side themes. I just thought it was so well written, and it really is worthwhile liter- literature, even though it's in the form of a comic book. So I thought that was cool. It's my,、um, my idea. Oh, for sure. I was gonna say the same thing that you just said. I mean, like conventionally or like traditionally, whatever. Like a book doesn't have pictures. It doesn't look the way that this book looked like.、Um, but I, I do think that he did a really great job of just writing this book. Um, and tying everything together and adding just so much, like you said, depth and detail and whatever into it. So, yeah, you basically <laughs> hit it right on. Yeah, like me,、uh, for me, like、uh, I think this is my first time to read a book like that, like a graphic book. Like I read a,、uh, I read a comic book before, but it's not like not like that. Like it has. Three stories together, but the story separates to the different sections. So, but every story has make has some connection like that. So I think this book is this is my first time to do it like that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel. Does someone want to say something? Did I cut someone off? You're good. Oh.、Okay. Um. Kind of going along with like how it was a comic book, like in you know like children's books sometimes will have like pictures and stuff like that, but I feel like this book was more like older teenager type story, and you had to really infer what the pictures were saying in order to understand the whole thing because there was like a few pages where it would just have like one or two words, and then like you had to see like. By what the pictures were telling you, in order to understand what was going on, so I think that's how it makes it different from other works of literature, and how it's not that conventional type of book that we're used to reading. And I think also like it just、um, it touches on like、um, really sensitive kind of like subjects, you know, like. Talking about race and talking about, you know, a way like the way that certain teenagers or people just feel about themselves, you know.、Um, I don't know. I just think it was very bold. <laughs> also, also, there's one thing like,、uh, do you guys have ever seen like the Chinese letter? So like the picture. Also, so this one, also this book is like a graphic book, so it has、uh, all pictures of to talk about. So I think it might might have some connection, like the, with the Chinese letter, and、uh, also with、uh, this graphic book. So yeah, like Chinese letter, sometimes like the uh like the graphic or pictures like that to show that like that. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking something a little bit similar to that.、Um, just how maybe the pictures represented more things in Chinese culture, and that kind of brought it back. A lot of times, folklore is connected with with visual as well.、Um, so I liked that. Like maybe there's element in the pictures.
I think well, the last question is what method for the graphic novel send about your thing? I think we talk talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Yeah, we I think we talked about it in the beginning yeah. a little bit. So that's all. Each student should share and answer with them. Anything else to say? Anyone? Yeah, I feel like mainly the particular theme or themes would be how we perceive ourselves and others, in a sense. So I feel like that's kind of like the particular theme of the story, kind of like no matter what others think about us, we should be ourselves and we shouldn't try to conform to what we think is the norm or what we should be in order to fit into a certain place. Yeah. Uh, the written thing is about um, the world folklore. So I just wrote down like the folklore gives it validity. So like the culture and the folklore combined something new that he's writing. Um, and also just the how he was trying to reject that culture that, culture. that, that was there. But someone wants to add about that. Um, like I kind of said before, I just, I think that this, the whole theme of this was, you know, it's not always better on the other side, you know, like, um, like kind of like embrace yourself, embrace like who you are, embrace your culture, culture. Um, and just, you know, like kind of like love who you are and where you come from. And does that connect, how does that connect with? The role of folklore. Sorry? How does that connect to the role of folklore? I'm sorry, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. How does that connect to the role Do you guys know what she's saying? I can't. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm so sorry. You're Can okay. you hear me now? Uh, yeah. yeah, a little better. I don't know. I, I didn't change anything. Um, I just was saying, how how does that relate, the theme that we talked about, how does that relate to the, how does that relate to the role of folklore? Oh. Well, I think, like, generally with folklore, like, certain folklore, there's always some kind of, um, like, uh, lesson to learn from it, you know? Um, and I think that that that's how this ties into it. You know, what was the lesson of this whole story? You know, like, don't give into societal norms. Don't try to change yourself for everyone else. I love that. That's perfect. Great. <laughs> I think it was on today. All so smart and have such good things to say. <laughs> well, I feel like one thing that um we should kind of like tie in. I don't know how to like pronounce it. Is like Siyutsu or something like that. Like um, he's kind of like the god in the story, and like the Monkey King tells Jin, no, tells Wei that humans are considered the pinnacle of Tiyutsu's creation, and um. He's like, well, I don't want to, uh, when he was like, I don't want to, like, help humans anymore. And he was, like, kind of, like, helping him understand, you know, like, humans are considered, like, the most important thing, important thing to God. And we should do, like, our best to help one another. And everything around us, like, was made for our betterment, for us to progress. And I thought that was really interesting that, you know, this monkey king was telling his son, like, listen... Like, they're the most important thing of God's creation. There's something I thought I should throw in there. Mm -hmm. If we want to tie it back to, like, LDS culture in our paper and, you know, <laughs> make it a little easier to write the paper. <laughs> I like that a lot. Oh. Well, great job. 
<laughs> for concert. Okay, so I just I'll I stopped. Send the, the, sorry. I'll, sorry? I'll send you some of the notes that I wrote down. Um, thank you so much. No, no problem. It's me to all. Yeah. Okay. Did we do? Are we time? Did we do good enough? Yeah. How long? How do we know? I said it didn't show the time. Are we short on time? No time. I said it doesn't show the time actually. I said we are good now. Yeah. We're good? Yeah. Okay. Mine says.